Hi internet and YouTube watchers. Um, I'd just like to show you something that I've been playing around with in the last couple of days. And I'll just take it out and show you. It's the Vivitar 45, which is an old school light meter. Um, I believe it's from the 70s, not exactly sure which year it was manufactured, but um, definitely a few years old. This one's in great condition and working well. Um, I got it for free from a friend at work and it was much appreciated. She's into photography like me, but she's not into the old analog stuff like me. So she handed it over and said, if you can use it, go ahead. So I tested it with a battery and it did work quite well. As you can see the, the needle moving. Um, but the problem is this, you can't get the old mercury batteries anymore. They're illegal because of toxicity and they were 1.3 volts and the batteries which are the same size approximately and work very well um, albeit at a different voltage um, are called the LR44 and they're 1.5 volts and that's that does something with light meters like this and I'll show you do you see that little gold mark just above the word Vivitar that's the battery check mark and I'll press the button at the top and boom, the needle goes right past the battery check mark, which means it's getting too much energy, basically. It's getting too many volts. Not much. It's not going to hurt anything. But it just it throws off the accuracy a wee bit. You'd really want it perfectly on that little gold mark. Um, so what happens is this. When you use it, it indicates that there's more light than there actually is. And it seems to be by about one stop. And it also seems to work in bright light and dimmer light too and be about the same so it's about one stop off and you need to overexpose basically by one stop so i tested it all against the meter in my wonderful canon tx which i like very much and the meter is good on this and i've also tested this against a digital slr which i also own and found the metering to be pretty good and very close to the digital SLR. So this is kind of my yardstick and I've calibrated this according to that. So if you can find one of these either very cheap or free or whatever or on eBay for very little money, don't be worried about the fact that the battery, um, you can't get the battery. Just put in an LR44 or an SR44 which I believe is the same as an AG13 and a 357 I think. Um, just throw it in there, in the back, right here, and uh, it'll work fine, but you do have to um, change the film speed and use a different ISO from the actual film speed that you're using. So I've used, um, I put it to 200 here, and on my camera I put it to 400, and it should all work out. So just keep that in mind. Um, also to be aware of is this thing on top, this little bubble. Now this is um, for incident light reading and that's when you hold the meter right by the subject that you're shooting and you point the meter right at the camera and that's when you slide this over and take an incident reading and it's quite different from the reflected which is what I'm doing, what, what you normally meter with a camera like the TX or any other camera is a reflected reading and it's obvious because the light is coming in reflecting from the subject into the camera so don't put this bubble over the top unless you know how to use it because it's going to throw everything off but anyway if you can adjust for one stop then um, you can use this light meter great thank you